So Hello. we can't leave the commentary seat open for this long. Not I mean, for that long. It's been empty all no, night. So yeah. I got to be here. Just because there isn't a bunch of top players here right now doesn't mean we can't provide the entertainment or the discussion. I mean, yet again, I game. feel like we're seeing a winner's finals that like we normally never get to see at Wednesday Night Five. We have Soul true. X versus Ant. Soul X versus Ant. Not something you normally see, even though these are both like uh, heavy comers. I'm not too sure about Soul right. X. I know Ant comes here like every week. I mean, yet again, these are both players that like you would expect these guys to fight maybe like winners quarters, mm -hmm. you know? Uh huh. But not not in winners finals. I mean, they both had to go through a lot of good players to get here. I mean, Ant beat exactly. Ant beat Nekokatsu. He beat Jason. He beat Rhino Dude to get here. Solex beat K9. I know, went through K9 actually. Yeah. That was a close game, set. Yeah, too. game five. Yeah, very close set too. And the K9 ended up going Wolf in that last game too, and like barely losing it. So, very close set. Um, but here we are, Battlefield. Now, and up to O. What do we got for the take here? I mean, yet again, it's going to be hard just because Peach really struggles against characters that can like spam a lot of projectiles in uh -huh. the air. Because that's where she wants to be. She wants to float. She wants to control the aerial space. But right. if you're just throwing out pellets every like five seconds, you know, be like, hey, you're in the air. I'm going to throw a pellet at you. It's kind of hard for Peach to approach Villager in the matchup. Exactly. A lot of times she's just floating in the air for the like, aerial. Goes in for the side. He gets hit by a dash attack in a pot. Oh, jabs. 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 How many times can we get it? Let's go. Uh, I, I want to hit like an Ava. <laughs> hey. I mean, yeah, again, that was like a <laughs> solid like 20 percent but Ooh, good read. Good read there with that. Oh, he tries to do it again. I don't know if he ended up doing that one on purpose, probably trying to turn up, get to grab. Hits for the fourth throw into the forward air. Let's have situation. I mean, yeah, yeah, this isn't a bad matchup for Peach just because, you no, know, 
she's in the air a lot, and when she does break the zone, she gets so much damage out. And uh -huh. honestly, she needs a lot less stray hits in order to kill Villager. I mean, she has forward air, she has back air, right. she has side B, you know. She has a lot more moves that can just kill yeah. off of a single interaction, yeah. rather than Villager, who basically has to pray that he gets a solid edge guard, you know, get a, a bear train, you know, hit a solid bear like that. Something like that, but a solid yeah. bear, definitely going to take out that stock. I can imagine that the neutral game is just a little, a little more difficult for Peach, though, you know, it's consistently floating in the air, trying to approach somehow, uh, trying to land a move, so. Uh, having to rely on something like this, like a counter, is actually pretty, uh, not, not too bad either. Yet again, it's one of those things where Villager, because he controls the space so well, is going to be uh, up to Solex to be creative and float around his, you know, wall of pain. Exactly, so that's maybe a reason for having Balco pick, you know, maybe you can land on more platforms to change it up. Hits her with a back throw, tries to get her off with a couple more slingshots. Go. There's a bear. Now he's got him underneath, and there's the juggle situation, and no, no double jump. Or there it is, but like, I, I like how Ant held it. He uh -huh. immediately retreated away from the center stage because he didn't want Solux to get any more momentum. Exactly. Ends up landing a bit. She has the tree here, so you gotta be careful. Hits him with a bowling ball. That's gonna be the stock 2 1 for Ant. You know, that's one of those things where because Peach has that really slow up beat, Ant can afford to go for multiple bowling ball attempts. Exactly. Hits with the toad here, goes up for another toad again. I'm assuming he's uh, trying to block the slingshot, is that what it is? He's trying to counter the slingshot? Yeah. I mean, it's just blocking any attack, really. Any and attack and, and just yeah. hoping that villager drifts into the, yeah. the spores. Yeah, what I was wondering was like, it's because like, he's hit kind of far away, so I was assuming it had to be a slingshot. Yeah, because he, he's going kind of far away, and then he tries to go for another one. Went for him to spam it again, but throws him up with the up air. Villager at cool 129, the tree protecting him, hitting him with another slingshot. He's going all the way down. Oh, he tried to hit him with an axe. You know what? Seen a little saucier. I, I like the attempt there because he read that he was going to go low and almost, make it. yeah. Make it. It, it, to go underneath. It, it was so close uh -huh. because, and the only reason why he didn't make it was because the balloon popped and so he lost gas. Oh, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Let's see, let's see what made the balloon pop. It, it was down smash, yeah. Down oh, smash okay, okay, okay. So that's what I only had one. Okay. Yeah. Oh, jabbing the wrong way though. So it's a good tech chase. Ooh, hits him with a full combo, the full Peach special. Tries to get him with a bomber too, even. Yeah, I mean, Solax was looking for the kill right there, because that Beach Bomber, if it connected, that would have been death. Yeah, that would have been. You know, if you're Solax, you know, you've been kind of down. You're down two games. you got to make those big plays in yeah. order to hopefully bring it back to a game four. Exactly, and good one on Solax, to be honest, even though that was a, uh, a pop balloon. Um, kind of thing for Ant, still bringing it back all the way to this ledge trap situation. And Solux completely holding center stage this time around. Trying to hit him with the back air the ledge trap situation. Goes for the Peach Bomber again. Ooh, let's get back it's on, let's get back so on. so hard for Peach to get in. And you know what? Oh, oh really no! Yeah, that was an ill oh, advice. Oh, but he's still living! Oh, he tries to hit him with it! But there's oh, a bowling ball. Oh, he made it too! That was nasty. Some micro spacing for my boy Solux. I feel like that wasn't just micro spacing. That was just the fact that, that the magnet hands on the... Uh, Parasol was able to just lean in and cling to the center. Well, yeah, yeah so, land so far away. So. Oh, catches it too! Yo, Bubble playing no games over here. Right. Try to throw the gyro. And yet again, that, that gyro, the way that Ant does it like that uh -huh. is because he wants Solex to kind of approach him on the ledge. And know when the gyro explodes, it's such a huge hitbox. But exactly. Ant finally finding the kill with the up smash to bring himself to Grand Finals. We got a villager in That's Grand Finals crazy. of Wednesday Night Fights. We fight. have Ant in Grand Finals. It's crazy because you see him here every week, and he's putting in work, and there he is. Yeah. Ends up making it up, and here now I guess we're going to have K9 against, is it Necro? Uh, it should be Rhino Dude, I believe. Rhino Dude? Oh, okay. Yeah. Necro's not here then, so. Now up here at the top, but a good set from Ant Blank and Solex, even though Solex bringing it 